Hi guys, welcome to Nana's Corner. My channel is all about learning to DIY, craft, and cook without spending a lot of money. If that's what you're looking for, be sure to subscribe and then click on the bell when it appears so you won't miss when I upload something new. And if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know you'd like to see more. Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make these um, rustic pumpkins. They're made out of shirts, believe it or not, and they're super easy. A quick holiday, fall, autumn, Halloween craft that you can make. And let's get to it. I'm going to show you how to do them, and simple as that. To make these pumpkins, what you're going to need is um, a shirt or material of any kind. I've got these shirts at the thrift store um, for a couple dollars. They were actually marked down so any type of shirt you want. If you want to do them rustic colors or you want to do black and white like the new trend of pumpkins um, whatever you choose. Whatever you like you do you. So let me see. I've used this color. I've used the orange. Let's try this tan one. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the sleeve Let me get myself situated here so you can see you're going to take the sleeve and you can use the cuff but I don't think it's going to work too well you could try it if you button it up but I think your stuffing might come out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that part off The sleeve part and if you don't have a sleeve or if you're making a lot of pumpkins and you ran out of sleeves all you have to do is make yourself a tube out of flat material so we're gonna go ahead and cut this off I'm gonna cut it off right there right below all that bulky stuff and you can always save this for something else then we're gonna get the sleeve. What are we left with here? Looks like we have about, now you'll see it's a different size, but that's okay. It'll still work out. I want to get it as straight as possible. I'm not going to really measure. I'm going to go to right here. So, let's see. About one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about eight inches. I'm going to go. Okay, and then you can get rid of your shirt. All right, now let me. This one I did, and it was nine inches, so you could kind of see the height. It comes out to be about depending on how much you stuff it and how tight you pull it, about three inches. This one was six, and it came out to be about, oh, I don't know, about two and a half. So it all depends on the material you're using and how much stuffing and how tight you pull it. They're all going to be unique, which pumpkins are. So then you need one of these needles. It's um. What is it for plastic canvas? This one is plastic, but if you have a metal one, it might be a little bit easier to get it through the material. But this one works with a little effort. It works pretty good. Then you're going to need some yarn. Oh, got my yarn tangled up. Just yarn. I'm going to use brown. You can use whatever color you want. Um, it kind of, I thought the brown would look nice because it kind of gives it like the shadowy effect inside the, the sections. So cut yourself off a pretty decent, it's better to have extra yarn when you're threading it through your sleeve. And then you're just going to thread your needle and the easiest way is see, bend it in half and then pull it through instead of trying to get the end through. It's much quicker that way. And you can put your material inside out. And then it's kind of just work 
wherever by the seam and what you want to do is go about a half inch or so down can you see that about a half inch is where you're going to start you poke your needle in and then you're just going to thread the material onto your needle making sure you're pretty consistent about a half inch or so I mean it doesn't have to be exact but through and you can keep threading it through or oh I forgot to tie a knot you want to tie a knot at the end of your at the end of your thread make sure you tie a knot so you don't pull it right through there okay so let's get back to here now I found that the easiest way it's a little hard if you just try to tug on all the material if you just kinda take each little and pull it and it comes right through just kinda of little effort and then you just keep going all the way around in and out and in and out let me finish that up and then I'll come back when I have that done and show you the next step okay I have it all the way through all the way around and I'm on my last stitch and I'm gonna come out right about right not through the same hole but next to it the one you started to, with and just pull that through well if your thread comes off have no fear <laughs> just pull it through and re-thread it if you need to Pull your thread through. You're kind of making a little sack once you get to your edge. And then you can just take your end, cut it off, tie a knot with the first end you started with, double tie it so it doesn't pull through. And there you go and trim those up a little bit okay then you're going to turn it back so the outside or the the right side of the shirt is out and see you have like a little little cap <laughs> and what you're going to do next is you're going to take some pillow stuffing some polyfill or you can even actually use an old pillow that you don't use anymore and just fluff it you want to kind of loosen it up so pull it you don't want to stuff one big piece in there because once you go to try to put your needle through which we'll get to soon you'll see this makes it a little bit easier and you just put it in and you want to make sure you're filling out your pumpkin and you'll notice your pumpkins are going to be different sizes depending on the type of shirt you use course if you use a child's shirt you're going to have a smaller pumpkin and you see how I'm kind of putting it out towards the outside you're going to fill it in but you want to make sure that it's not all just in the middle okay yes so a smaller shirt is going to give you a smaller pumpkin of course if you have larger sleeves you'll have a, a bigger pumpkin um, depends on how long you cut it's like a surprise at the end of what you come up with okay and you want to have you're gonna do the same thing that you did before so you want to make sure you have enough stuffing depending on how fat you want it put a little bit more in there and see how it works out but you want to also be able to close it okay so let's put that in there now for this next you're going to thread your needle again let me show you that one more time just bend it over and kind of slide it up through there and pull it out and there you go make sure you put a knot at the end ok 
okay this time you're going to want to start on the inside coming out so that way your knot will be on the inside of your pumpkin and not on the outside and you do the same thing pull it through and you're going to do the same thing about a half inch more or less and go all the way around just like you did on the bottom okay and like I said if you have trouble getting it off the needle just slide it around one at a time <laughs> my thread is caught up in there just slide it through see it'll come trust me just some, some different materials take a little bit of work and you're just going to keep your stuffing in and go all the way around till you get to the end let me do that and then I'll show you what it looks like okay so I secured it all up pulled it tight tied a knot here so it doesn't unravel and then you have this long string now you can leave it on there if you want or you can cut it off on these I kind of left them at least a little bit and it kind of made it like little trendles but we'll cut it like that for now and now let's see we're gonna get another piece of yarn mm, I don't know about maybe two feet two, 24 inches I'm not sure just want a pretty big you're gonna pull it tight so you're gonna use less than that and you're gonna thread your needle again sorry if I go off camera a little bit I'm trying not to but with my eyes sometimes I need to have it close to see what I'm doing so now you're gonna put a knot at the end of course But you're still going to have to kind of hold it. Okay, so you're going to go up through the bottom. Now this is, can be a little tricky depending on how tight you stuffed it and your how fat your pumpkin is. You're going to put it up to the bottom, bring it all the way up through the middle, and you're going to want to push it. And this is where sometimes a metal needle will come in handier because it will stay straight. And you want to feel it and get it out the top here the first couple are a little bit harder once you get it through and you're pulling them tight you'll it goes real easy but you have to kind of find it okay so I got it through the middle right up here through the middle now you want to make sure you don't pull it all the way through you want to leave a thread on the bottom and kind of hold it as you're going okay and you're going to be making the whole point of this is the point you're gonna make your sections and as you pull it the tighter you pull it the more they'll poof out so, and you want to make I guess about five depending on the size of your pumpkin and the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna turn it over you're gonna go up right through the middle and bring it through the top and like I said the first couple just kind of stick your finger down in there and guide it through are a little the are the hardest ones once you get that through you'll be fine you just pull it and you want to pull it tight and that is why you don't want to use thread you want to use I'm using yarn because you want to pull it tight and it wants the tighter you pull it it'll give you more of that pumpkin effect okay and if you pull it too hard with thread it's probably gonna pop so you pull it through and you want it to keep it as tight as you want it to be in the end because once you do your next one you're not gonna be able to tighten that one and you're gonna bring it around and just wherever you feel the next section should be pull it around pull it through and just keep doing the same thing find the needle See, on camera it's never going to work right. 
first ones went so smoothly okay there we go pull it up make sure you go back and grab that bottom thread the first one we went through pull your thread out and pull it as tight as you want your sections to be okay and you'll be able to manipulate it a little bit as you go okay and then you do it again put it through the bottom and up through the top and that was part of my reasoning of why you want to kind of leave the middle when you were stuffing it a little open so you can make it through a little bit easier and by now you shouldn't have to worry too much about that first thread holding on to it okay and you see how puffy it was in the beginning how tall it was now it's shrinking down because you're pulling it tight so continue that let me finish up these last ones and I'll come back and show you how it looks okay so I've got all my sections I got one two three four five sections this is the bottom you got your first string that you left hanging and the string that you were pulling through pull it tight and now you can trim that off and make it easier to tie a knot and you want to make sure that you tie this knot good Pull it tight because otherwise your yarn is going to come and your pumpkin will be sectionless. Okay, got that tight, trim them off. That's your bottom. Now you can play around with it and squish it and everything. Let me see if I can get a side view for you here. This is the side view. You just squish it the way you want it. You can make it flatter or puff it up taller, however you want it to look. To finish it off, what you're going to do is get yourself a twig, a branch from your tree outside. Just go outside and pick one of them dead branches off. It's the end of the season now. You should have some. And if not, well then take a nice walk and find you a stick. Or you could use popsicle sticks or anything you want. So just cut a piece off, however you want, break it, snap it, now I made a mess, and you're just going to take some hot glue, decide which end, put some hot glue in there, around the, the edge of the branch, and then put it down in the middle push it down and that will be you can if you want to push it in to catch the material and there's your pumpkin now if you would like you could take some of your yarn that's left over some of your bits and pieces and just stick it on down in that into that glue wrap it around there a couple times so you won't see any of the glue and then this you can just use as a little tendril twirl it around and however you want to do it you can just lay it there and let it lay loose or you can hot glue it however you want that's optional you can make burlap leaves I think would look cute on here so let me show you something these were the different sizes. This one was made 9 inches long. This one was 8 inches. And look at the difference in size. This was a wider sleeve than this was. So you're always going to come out with something different. This one was a stretchier, like a thermal material, and I didn't take the cuff off. I kind of think that maybe I should have and it would have came out more even because with the cuff it kind of gave you some lumps and bumps but I guess that's okay because what pumpkin's perfect every pumpkin has lumps and bumps everywhere so and there you have it simple a wonderful cute easy fast Halloween fall decoration okay I'll insert, er, insert some pictures at the end
If you like this video and you'd like to see more like it, give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and it'll t let me know what you like and what you don't like. And if you haven't subscribed, stick around, hit that subscribe button. And then when the bell pops up, click on that and you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. I've got lots coming. Alright, bye bye guys.